Okay, so hey guys, it's PSL here, and I'm here with a Gran Turismo 6 video. Uh, very weird, I know I don't normally do Gran Turismo 6, um, but as you will see my recent channel update video, I can't do PS2 recordings. So my final Gran Turismo 4 video I had planned, that can't be done anymore. My 2002 Reverse Grid Race series, that can't be done anymore. I mean, if the situation's changed by the time, by the time this video's gone up, then... Well, that'd be amazing, but, um... But I need some backup plans, some backup videos, and I remember Gran Turismo 6, even though I really didn't like this game, there were, it was a game that was largely bad, That were, but there were just a few golden nugget good things in this game, so I'm going to have a look through the events, because I know there were some good little challenges, so I'll have a look and see what there is. Yeah, this is what I remember, I remember these, I remember the eco challenges, they were very interesting actually, the coffee break challenges, even though there weren't many of them in this game, they were... They were quite good, I would honestly say they were probably the best thing about this game, because Grand Turismo 6 really don't hold a high opinion of. I've already got a gold trophy in this, but you know what, let's do it again. Two and a half miles on what, one litre of fuel? Right then, so here we are, one litre of fuel, we've got to see how far we can get, and we haven't exactly got the most environmentally friendly car in the world. Okay, so we've used 0.2. Uh, yeah, 0.07 litres of fuel already, and we've barely gone anywhere. And bearing in mind, we've only got two minutes, yeah. So we can't just coast around at 29 miles an hour forever. And I wonder, oh, if I had manual gears on, that would probably help, actually. No, this really, I'm really not. No, no. I also think if we go on the grass, we might fail as well. I don't know. But I'll tell you what, we've done nearly a mile already. Right, we've only got uh, 10 seconds left, so we may as well just go for it now. Because, well, we're not going to make even the gold distance at the moment. We've nearly ran out of fuel, we've nearly ran out of time. Well, we still made two miles, okay. I'm going to try that again, but with manual gears, because that will probably help, actually, with fuel saving anyway. Okay, so here we are with manual gears, and now oh, it's been a long time since I played this game, so I don't even know what manual... Okay, it's R2 and L2 to change gears. Right, okay. Can we get up into fourth? Yeah, we can get up into fourth. Okay, if we could just... I reckon if we could keep it in, in just fourth gear... I don't even think we ever got in fourth gear last time we did this challenge. And where's our ghost? Oh, our ghost cart is miles behind. Okay, we're doing much better than we were last time anyway. Well, at least in terms of distance covered to time anyway. Just basically, basically, I've just I've just given the equation for speed there, but basically in terms of speed, we're doing much better than last time. Right, so an update, we're actually doing very well. We've just got 26 seconds left to go, and as you can see, I've just been keeping it in fifth gear. As you can see, less than half throttle application. Just slowly building up speed, building up distance. Well, I do think we're actually going to come up to the sharp right-hand corner very soon. So I don't actually think I'll beat my best distance. No, we've run out of time anyway, I've just realised. We'll just go for it. We've made, we've made the gold distance anyway. Uh, there you go. 2.3 miles. That's decent. All right. That's good. So that's Eco Challenge. I wonder if... Um, yeah, there is another Eco Challenge. I'll go and do that because these Eco Challenges are actually very fun, actually. I'll see where the other one is. Okay, <laughs> right, every Gran Turismo video I seem to do takes me to Suzuka, most of them seem to anyway. Um, this is a slightly different one, as you can see my record there is 3 minutes 8. We're in a, uh, a Honda CRZ, so at least we're in a car that is somewhat environmentally friendly, unlike um, the last one. Or, you know, um, it's got a good miles per gallon, is what I mean, unlike the, you know, the last car which we had. Okay, manual transmission, that's good. And we've, we've got to do an entire lap of Suzuka, but with just one litre of fuel. And my best lap is 3 minutes 8, which is horrifically slow. But bearing in mind, one litre of fuel. That doesn't sound too bad to me. Although the problem is, is we're actually going to have to... Yeah, put up into 6 straight away. But the problem is, is we're actually going to have to um, slow down at certain points of the track. Obviously, certain corners. Um, we, we can't just... We can't just do what we did in the last challenge, which was just go very quickly and then just carry that momentum. No, we 
Well, we might have to. I mean, it's not, it's not like we're reaching any massive speeds at the moment. I mean, we're still going 60 miles an hour. That's not exactly dizzying. I'll tell you what, going around this slowly, you do get to appreciate how good looking this game is graphically. I mean, I never really liked this game, but one thing I will give it is the graphics. Bearing in mind it's only a PS3 game, are actually very good. Oh, I slowed down way too much there. Um, but yeah, I mean, bearing in mind it's a PS3 game, the graphics are very good actually. Hopefully, when Gran Turismo Sport comes out, that, that game hopefully will look just stellar. Oh, we're going to have to slow for this corner, aren't we? Oh, God, yeah, jeez. Yeah, hopefully that game will look stellar. I'm so, I'm slightly looking forward to Gran Turismo Sport. I mean, it's going to be... I know it's mainly focused on online gameplay. Well, you know, an online competitive racing, but I'm still looking forward to it. Hopefully we'll have some offline mode, or either that or the online mode is going to have to be amazing, because... It just seems like a waste. Why don't we just have Gran Turismo 7 already? Why are we still hanging around for a Gran Turismo game on the PS4? Like a proper, you know, traditional one. While I've been talking, I've just realised I've been way too environmentally friendly. I mean, look, we're coming up towards 130R. I've still got 0.4 litres of fuel left. And I'm not going to be able to beat my time. I won't... I don't even know if I'll actually get silver, actually. No, I've been way too cautious in this one. I haven't forgotten to downshift as well. Oh, I'm going all over the place. It's been so long since I've played a Gran Turismo game, or just a racing game where you have to hold down X to accelerate. I'm just all over the place with it. Um, I know you could change the controls, but why would I want to do that? Um, and yeah, we haven't even made a bronze. We haven't even made the bronze time. Right, we'll have to start that again then. Right, so coming up towards. Well, pretty much the halfway point of the lap, I mean, we've just come, un you know, we've just done the first, what am I saying, you know, we've just gone under the bridge, so essentially we've done the first half of the figure of eight, and I think things are going better, although, again, I forgot to downshift, I mean, I'm not used to playing manual transmission on racing games, normally I just leave it on automatic, I'm trying to get into manual gears, but I'm, well, while talking, that's just no hope. I may as well just drive this full speed now for the rest of the lap. I mean, look, well, did we ever go this fast in the last lap? 90 miles an hour? I don't think we ever did. Although, maybe I've got to be slightly wary of how much fuel I'm using. Yeah, okay, I'll just leave it off. We've hit triple figure speed. Actually, well, n not anymore. Oh, no. No, I've got it. We're all good. <laughs> We're all good. I nearly spun out there. We are all good. Um, again, I'm forgetting to downshift. Um, and coming across the line, 3 minute 8 was my previous record. I think I'm going to... No, I'm not going to do sub 3 minutes, but I should actually beat my 3 minute 8 record. Oh, okay. Just about. 3 minutes 5.2. I don't know if there are any other eco challenges in this game. I'll see if there are. If there's not, then we'll do one of the other coffee break challenges, because as I said, they're probably by far and away the best thing about this game. Okay, so I've had a look and there aren't actually any more eco challenges, which honestly I'd say is one of the best thing about this game, is the eco challenges, and we've done them already. Um, but so I'll do, I reckon for the rest of this video, I'll do one cone challenge and one drift challenge, so then we've done at least one of each type of coffee break challenge. And this one sounds like the most interesting, um cone challenge, we got to do a lap of the Gran Turismo karting arena, knocking over all the cones as quickly as possible, so well, let's just see how well that goes. Right, so here we are, I've put the game back into, I've put it back into automatic gears, um, I've turned the traction control off though, as you can tell from the rear tyres, um, have I missed a cone? I've, oh, you screw it, you've got to hit all the cones in a lap. This could be quite infuriating. I know I've got the gold before, but I mean that was that was probably when I first played this game. You know, when I actually was like half decent at it, but I haven't played this game in such a long time. Well, I haven't actually. I'll tell you one thing. This is without a shadow of a doubt the first time I've played this game in 2016. I'll tell you what though. I think I might have missed. Oh, I've missed a cone there. Fuck it. 
Hey, I'll tell you what, halfway through, and I'm doing alright. I don't know how well I'm doing in terms of speed, but at least I've got all the cones. I don't know if this is gold worthy, but I've certainly got all the cones. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, didn't quite get silver. Do you know what? I have a couple. I have a couple more goes of that. Actually, see if I can get the gold again. I tell you the annoying thing about this challenge: you can't tell if you've missed a cone until the end. So I do think I might well have missed one. Actually, well, no. Oh no. Six, six, six off of a gold. I mean, oh my. Hang on, there's a cone up there which is standing. And okay, I'll, I'll, I'll have a few more goes. Well, I wonder if being in the cockpit camera might help because I'm uh, no, no. I'm too used to. Do I, 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 do you know, I can't even tell if I missed any now because obviously I'm sat in the left-hand side of the car, so it's difficult to say if you know if I miss a cone on the right-hand side. Let's just go on the assumption that I have... Oh, come on, I missed two there for sure. I missed another one. Fantastic. Do you know what? Fuck it. Let's just... Let's just... Let's just... I give up this challenge. I give up. I've done it before. Do I care? Let's head on to a drifting challenge. Right, my first attempt... In... Ugh, I can't speak. Right, my first attempt in drifting challenges always goes flawlessly. Although, having said that, okay, mm, this hasn't gone... Well, I haven't stuffed it into a wall, but I didn't do that all that great with that first drift. What about this one? No, 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 fantastic. Although, hang on, the past two drifts actually went pretty well, so if this final one... Oh, fuck it! I'll tell you what, Gran Turismo gets me frustrated like no other game does. Hang on, that's a flawless drift. Why am I not getting thousands of points of that? What would you... Uh, the, come on, that was a good drift. How come I only got 600 points for it? No. Fuck. Oh, my God. As I was saying, this Gran Turismo as a franchise gets me so annoyed. And no other game can do this. Only Gran Turismo can do this to me. Right, maybe the third person camera will help. No, no, it, no, it won't. Do you know what? Five more attempts. Five more attempts. This is how I always, this is what I always do whenever I play Gran Turismo. I'm like, right, okay, well, I'll do five more attempts. I don't know why five, but just five just always just seems to just be the number I always go for. Okay, okay. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. Yeah, you, this is going well. This is going well. This is... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, my God! Hey, okay, that drift went well. We, we're getting some decent points all of a sudden. Please don't bin it because I've started talking. Please don't, please don't. Oh, well, that was a pitiful amount of points. Well, okay, I've got, I've got a score good enough for bronze. That's that's not really anything. Gone way too fast into here. Actually, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is the loss. Hang on, hang on. If this is an amazing drift. Oh, yes. What was that? Gold medal. Oh, and I beat my previous record as well. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I was getting worried that as a 17-year-old, as a teenager, I can drive environmentally friendly but not drift, which... Or, what was the other thing? Oh, knocking over cones. I mean, that's something teenagers are supposed to be good at, just vandalism. But no, I can I can testify I'm a teenager. I can actually drift as well as just do eco-challenges. I'll tell you what, though. I've done, I think, seven or eight driving lessons now in real life. And I'll tell you what, if I did... If I did this sort of thing, oh, my driving instructor, I dread to think the words that would come out of his mouth, none of them would be positive, I'm sure. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. I know this is kind of a 
cop out video because my you know because I can't record on PS2 games now anyway. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you know, I mean, if the situation with recording PS2 games is still the same when this video goes up, then you know, if you want to suggest any random videos or any series ideas I can do on PS3 or PS4 games, even PS1 games, I could actually record PS1 games technically. Um, if you want to suggest a series I could do, be sure to leave that down in the comment section because in the description, at the bottom of the, at the bottom of the description, you'll find a link to my backlogery page, which has a list of pretty much all the games I own. So if you want to uh, look at that backlogery page, be sure to do that. I mean, I could do small videos on Grand Smo 6 if you want. I mean, we've got we've got this Goodwood Festival of Speed, the Lunar Exploration. I haven't even covered these events, and these are some great events as well. But yeah, be sure to leave down in the comments any suggestions you've got for videos or anything. And I'll see you guys for, what, what I have no idea, whatever video comes out next. So I'll see you then.